OK, so we know about graph transformations. We know that we can use this replacing methodology to find the new equation of the curve. Let's say I give you a particular question with a couple of transformations involved. Find the equation of the curve y equals 2 over x minus 3 plus 8 after a translation by the vector minus 3 minus 7 followed by a stretch parallel to the y-axis factor 4. OK, so first things first is to apply the translation. So the translation is minus 3 minus 7, so we're going to replace the x with x plus 3 and the y with y plus 7. So we're going to go from y equals 2 over x minus 3 plus 8 to y plus 7 equals 2 over x plus 3 minus 3 plus 8. OK. Now let's tidy that up. So we're going to have 2 over just x. We've got the plus 8. Take 7 from both sides and we get 2 over x plus 1. So that is the translation. Now let's apply the stretch. Parallel to the y-axis, factor 4. So that means we replace y with a quarter y. And then we can multiply both sides by 4 to get 8 over x plus 4. OK, and that is the equation of the new curve. OK, so what you can see here is we're just using the replacement method just to replace the x's and y's as we go through the transformation. And you don't need to stop there. It doesn't have to be just a given equation like that because, you know, we could just say, well, let's just deal with some function of x. OK, y equals a function of x. Just make it general so that y equals f of x when you apply the translation, will become y plus 7 equals f of x plus 3. So then you can take the 7 from both sides, and you get that. And then followed by the stretch, so we'll have a quarter y equals f of x plus 3 minus 7. Multiply through by the 4. And that is the general form of the translated, of the transformed uh, function of x. OK, so you can use this replacement method on combinations in order to find the new equation after um, a combination of transformations. OK, just make sure that you're doing it in the right order.